you know, internally first about our roster and what our roster looked like. And, um, you know, after we got through free agency uh, and signed Brittany Sykes and traded for uh, Amanda Zowie B and knew that we were going to sign Christy Tolliver, it kind of changed the shape of maybe what we needed or whether we needed anything at all immediately. Um, the other thought process in all of this was um, what the next couple drafts look like, uh, 2024, 2025, with the end of the COVID years, uh, the college players were getting, uh, the players that could be available in those drafts. And then we needed a trade partner. And, um, you know, a couple teams had interest, but Dallas was the one that had showed the most interest. Uh, and we kept the dialogue open. Um, they kind of wanted to see what would happen in front of them with picks one and two uh, before they made up their mind. Um, and so uh, we couldn't, you know, get the trade done uh, before uh, the draft or before the deadline yesterday. And so this had to be a draft that took place or a trade that had to take place uh, in the draft. And so um, basically our agreement with Dallas was that if uh, the player was there that they wanted and, um, you know, Obviously, if, you know, a couple of people didn't get to our pick that we would be willing to make that trade. And so that's kind of the genesis of it. We kept in contact with Dallas all day today. Um, we had one other team that was interested in also trading for that pick, but we liked Dallas's offer the best and uh, made the decision this morning uh, that we would do it if it was presented to us. Uh, we debated about a couple of players, but we really didn't want to be in a position uh, both from a cap standpoint and from a roster management standpoint to bring in another player in the first round uh, who maybe was good enough to make our team, but would force our hand to maybe cut somebody else that we really liked right now on our, on our roster. And so um, that's kind of where we ended up. Free agency thing probably played a factor at all. Uh, in fact, um, if we had probably taken it in that context, we would have thought about taking a player uh, who maybe would not have played this year uh, and kept their rights and, and kind of moved in that direction. But uh, I just think that, you know, everybody's kind of, you know, looking forward to the next two drafts. And I think that had probably the most to do with it of anything. Um, I don't know if Eric, you know, you want to chime in on that, but that's that was kind of the biggest thing for us. Nope, nothing to add on that. Uh, we did it more uh, for the first round. Um, I have watched uh, Elena play for several years at South Florida. Uh, I spent several days with their team a year ago when she was a junior um, and got to watch her up close and practice and everything else. Um, I think our staff was in agreement that, you know, here's a player that in our league will probably be a point guard. Um, but can play both positions, has played both in college. And, you know, it's going to be a tough road. I mean, I told her on the phone tonight, you know, we have a better, veteran team, but she's going to be given an opportunity to compete. Um, but I think, you know, that any player coming in that late in the draft knows right now the way the league stands, that it's, you know, an uphill battle. But we liked uh, the kind of kid she is and how she battles, literally. Um, and, you know, she has great skill sets. And so that was the, the determining factor. And then in the third round, I think we had kind of made up our mind that we didn't really need anybody more for our camp, that we would try to take an international player that we knew wasn't going to come this year that, you know, has upside. Uh, they're all young. They're all 19, 20 years old right now. And uh, that we felt um, that, you know, we had a couple players in mind at that pick at 32 that fit that bill. And so that's the direction we went, uh, picking another guard that has multiple skills, um, good shooters. You know, we, we always are going to put a premium on shooters. And so Alarcon um, kind of fits that bill. And, you know, she's not going to come this year to camp. And we'll look at her down the road. For sure. I mean, this is a team that, um, you know, I think players and staff both feel we're ready to compete now. Um, and, you know, kind of like Coach T said uh, off the top, I'm not sure, you know, had we taken a player that was going to come in right now that it would be, you know, somebody who would be making a huge difference in the the very near future. 
um, compared to the upside of, you know, what that pick could be down the road. Um, and so when you just start kind of listing, you know, Brittany Sykes, Amanda Zowie B, Siana Hawkins, Shatori signing back, Lee Mung, and, you know, potentially one or two more, I think it's a, it's a group that we feel is ready to go. And we've addressed our defense, we've addressed shooting. Um, and so I think we, we're going to be a team that's a little bit better balanced maybe than we were last year. Three picks all left a year on the table. Um, and so, you know, when you start going down the draft, you realize there's more players like that than, you know, everybody was kind of doom and gloom a couple of weeks ago about the state of this draft and everybody going back to college. But um, there were a lot of first round picks that, you know, didn't use their extra year. So um, I, I still think there's great appeal to coming in this league. And, um, you know, we'll, we're all kind of curious to see how it shakes out the next couple of years as players still have the choice. but. Um, we know that that COVID year is going to dry up here in, in the not too distant future. Cool. Uh, final meeting that said, okay, we need to put our priorities in order. And when we got to the draft, our priorities played out. Our priority this morning was that we knew, you know, a couple players were not going to be at our pick um, and that there was, you know, a group that would be at our pick and, and, the decision this morning was, do we value the the future pick more than we did a player, um, you know, in this draft? And, and, and then this draft got separated into two groups also, those who were going to play right away and those who you could, you know, wait on for a year. Uh, Sara as being an example. There's a couple other foreign players uh, that were examples of that. <clears throat> and we like those players. Um, but either way, we were going to wait. Uh, and we felt that the weight was going to be better served for our long-term future, um, you know, by by doing the draft. So, or by doing the the trade. And so, you know, as it was happening, and Dallas is, you know, calling and confirming, you only have about ninety seconds or two minutes to say, okay, we're going to do it. And that's probably the moment of hectic. You gotta you gotta stick to your convictions because you know there were a couple players that you know weren't going to come that we did like. Um, and we had to say, no, we, we've done our homework and you, know, you have to stay with what you believed in fundamentally. And that's what we did plays. And, you know, one thing I really liked about her, um, and I like about players in general is that they showed improvement, you know, as they stayed in college. So I thought she, um, you know, coach T mentioned that he saw her a lot, her junior year, and I thought she made a, a step up from her junior year to this season. So um, you know, that shows you that's a player that wants to get better and puts work into her game. Um, and so she just has to come in and be herself and, you know, try to do what we ask and learn her teammates as a point guard and she'll be fine. We moved up, you know, four spots in the draft. It allowed us to, uh, have something that was desirable to another team. Um, I think, uh, no matter what, everybody would have to say that our draft pick by switching picks last year worked out pretty well, getting, uh, Shakira Austin, that 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 worked out for us, um, and so uh, to to do that and get what we wanted a year ago and get something that improved this year and into the future, uh, that's probably the most you can hope for from something like that. And so, you know, we'll just keep trying to play it forward until you know we see the player that fits the next thing we want.